So in our cohort we have up to yeah. almost up to half mm. of the master's degree are international students. And there are a number of things along with settling in and actually having to hit the ground running very fast with their studies while still sitting in, settling in that they're really having to adapt to and um, that can be a great challenge for them. I think, as you said, the first step mm. Hella alluded to, reading, reading for understanding is just step one and then going to those extra levels that we have to have the foundation of understanding before we can start looking more deeply at the challenging and the questioning. And so something that, that the uh, international students talk about as well is, is the jargon, is the language, really having to be familiar with those mm. terms and just understand what is being um, required and being asked upon there and being clear on that before being able to go further uh, with the reading. And just to add on that, I've one of our students actually in our cohort, maybe two, I've actually looked over a couple of times and noticed that they are able to um, get the information and actually select in their own language and then respond and then change it back to English, which I, I, I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. Like, And they, they navigated it a little bit for me and oddly enough, I was the one who did not understand this time which just goes to show that if you're able to use um, certain computer devices or tools, mm -hmm. you, can, you can actually um, enrich yourself despite having maybe the first language barrier, it, like it, your hurdle over it in a sense. I think sometimes when you're learning to, when you're learning the discipline and you're doing it in a second or a third or a fourth language, mm -hmm there can often be that feeling like I'm struggling in ways that the other students aren't. Mm -hmm. But part of that's part of postgraduate study mm -hmm. is that feeling of I don't get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, and I think that's something we all need to learn how to sit with a little bit and feel comfortable mm -hmm. with that idea that I don't really get this yet. And sometimes it might be a question of um, translating ideas into your first or your second language. But sometimes it's also translating your knowledge from one context to another and that may not be necessarily tied to language although that might come and sit in there as well mm -hmm. and it can be quite useful as you were saying I found the e-reader devices just having that ability to highlight something and have a dictionary come up and tell me the context for that I use that all the time and I find that so helpful 